All right, guys, we're heading off to Brunswick Doldies to train today. Um, we're going to film a, a shoulder workout. This is for vlog three. Um, we're currently eight weeks out Sunday. So we are about seven, seven weeks and three days out, four days out from the Victorian titles. So uh, today's session is gonna can, can pretty much um, be filled with lots of presses. We're gonna do um, a lot of rear delt stuff. Um, Jezza works on a lot of his side, side delts, so we're gonna bring his side delts up. Um, and we do some traps where I'll do a lot more traps than what Jezza will as he's got a bit of a crook neck so um, Yeah, we're just gonna we wing our workouts most majority of the time. We never We never have a set regime or, or routine um, On what we do um, each week it does change depending on how we feel so um, we, we'll, we'll take it as it comes for today and um, See see what actually um, sort of workout we can get out all right, so pre-workout, what we're doing, I have prolific. Um, I normally have about a scoop, just a scoop and a half for that before I work out. Um, I have some alganatine, um, arginine to fat burning, and then uh, that's all I take for pre-workout. Then my intra workout, I'm having Humapro. I have two scoops of Humapro, and then I have my Tarko. I have, depending on the day for carb loading, um, or depending on the body group that we're working in comp um, with carb cycling at the moment so depending on um, what structure of the workout that we're doing so today's shoulders I only have one scoop um, if I do legs I'll have two scoops um, I don't have today I've got to double check but I don't think I have a scoop after my workout um, on leg day I'll have two scoops during and two scoops after so carb cycling going into this prep um, we're trying to work out exactly how many carbs we're having on a lower body day to a higher body day. So a lower body day would be like arms, shoulders for myself, um, arms, calves, stuff like that. And then for a, an upper body day or a high volume day, it would be legs, back. Um, for me, I would bring my chest up, so I'd do it on chest day, which would be higher carbs. Feel about the same? Yeah, my, my high carb days are leg days and uh, back days. So it's whatever, whatever body part you're trying to keep full. Um, and keep the glycogen in the muscle um, and where, where you're using the most energy as well will generally be your high carb day. So, off the train shoulders. First up today we're going to start with uh, rear delt flies and the deck. It's a good warm up exercise, get the isolation in the muscle group. Um, I like to start with rear delts because it is a muscle I'm, I'm trying to bring up myself. Um, and we're going to do working set to start light and work our way up the stack probably for five sets around 12 to 15 reps so keep going so what we're trying to do here is with Jezza as he's trying to hit the rear delt we want to try and keep his elbow placement nice and high which allows the full activation of his, of his rear, rear delt as you can see it's actually popping out and that's all through hand placement all the way to elbow and try and keep that contraction on the whole entire time So we're finished on here now. This is pretty much a semi warm up. We're gonna go in and we're gonna do one of the hammer strength press machines. Uh, we'll do four, maybe four sets on that, and then we'll work out what we're gonna do after that. So follow us in. So now we're on the uh, seated hammer strength press, shoulder press. So again, we'll probably do five sets, working our way up every time. Go for 12 reps. Yeah. Keep it 12 reps and um, just get a good squeeze. So what he's doing here is just nice and deep on the way down and just getting a good squeeze at the top. So for the guys that are out here, this is, this is a good friend of mine, Brian. He's been part of Doldies for a long time now. He's probably the main guy that runs and manages the Arnold Classic. Oh, well you could say that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian's been a good mate of mine. We actually competed my very first comp against each other uh, five years ago, four years ago. Was it? I don't know, when was that? Fit it? Well, I think it was five years ago we, we competed against Ella and he beat me, he smashed me on stage. So, uh, good friend, good friend, Brian. Let's go. So as you can see, um, Jaren's putting a lot of emphasis 
on his front delt into a little bit of his side delt. Um, this machine is, is awesome for, for anyone that has um, lower back problems and, and neck problems. Um, Jaren's doing this awesome. He's actually squeezing the whole way through the motion from top to bottom, which is a perfect contraction. Four more. One, two, three, one, two, let's go, three, four. So what we're going to do now is a reverse shoulder press on this uh, lying down machine. So we're going to face forward with our face to the, to the uh, bench. Um, we're going to do 12 reps on here. Getting again a good squeeze. Then we're gonna go straight to the side raise machine here, where we're gonna pretty much rep out, but aim for another 12 reps on here. So it's a it's a good pumping exercise. As she's just going through the motion of this, he wants to try and keep as much time and tension under load. So the whole entire time, making sure that there's no particular point where the muscle isn't under a contraction. You want to try and force as much blood into that that area of the muscle that we're trying to work. So right now we're trying to hit a bit of side and front delt. When he jumps under here, he wants power from the bottom. So he's gonna try his best to force as much energy from the bottom of the motion to the contraction at the top and keep it under constant load. Two more. Yep. Yep. Next up, we're going to be doing uh, side raises. We're going to be doing heavy side raises, so we're going to be doing a 10 rep range. Trying to pause at the top of the movement and not just throwing the dumbbells around to work up to as heavy as we can go for four sets. Okay, I only. I'm. Jez is doing 17s and still we go to fucking probably 25s. I did 15s and struggled on 15s. Actually, still I'm already pre exhausted from what we've been doing. A really good key component when you're doing a side race is with your pinky, as you're coming up into the motion, try and aim it slightly out. So as you're coming up, you're sort of almost like you're not flapping like a bird, but you're trying to get that pinky out, which actually hit a lot of your, your lateral head or your side delt. So just a little trick for you next time that you're doing it. Seven, eight, nine, So what we're going to do now is uh, a single arm side raise with the cable, nothing too heavy, just try and get 15 reps each side, for probably 4 sets. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to do some dumbbell um, shrugs. Um, the key to this is just keep your, your chin to your chest and try your, your best to keep your elbow slightly past your back. We'll activate more of your trap. Um, the biggest thing I see is a lot of people try and stare a lot at themselves in the mirror. Don't worry about what you're doing in the mirror, I feel the contraction in the actual trap. So, I'll, I'll show you by example. So what he's doing here is elevating his traps towards the back. 
trying to hit the roof with his traps basically. Keeping the dumbbells behind him as he comes back. And just get that thickness right on the back. Kind of speaks for itself. All right guys, that completes our workout. So we've done a fair few working sets. We've pretty much done four sets on every exercise. Uh, we started off with a Breedale Pec Fly. Then we've got into a Hammer Strength Seated Press. Then we've gone into a superset of a, a Lion Press into Side Lateral Hammer Strength Machine. Then from there we've gone into uh, Side Raises Dumbbells. From that we've gone into a Single Arm Cable Side Raise. Uh, then we've finished up on Shrugs. Dumbbell Shrugs. Dumb, dumbbell Shrugs. So, that's completed. You got three heads to your, you got three heads plus your trap, so four in total for your <laughs> tricep, uh, for your shoulders. We're training chest tomorrow, so we're gonna do front front delts when we train chest uh, as of tomorrow. So, um, yeah, you guys have any questions and stuff like that, hit us up on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, this video is vlog three. Massive shout out to our sponsors. Okay, so the next couple of videos we'll be doing, um, seven weeks out and so forth, will be probably uh, at Melbourne Muscle, so stay, stay tuned for those. Um, we'll be hitting some legs and a few other body parts you haven't seen already, so stay tuned. Yeah, cool, stay tuned guys, we've got heaps coming up, so uh, as Jesse was saying, we're gonna film out of my gym. Uh, we're gonna do legs, legs is our next planned workout or video vlog that we wanna do, and then we'll hit an arm day. We'll hit a arm day, arm day, back day, back day, and then we'll reverse it again. So we'll do chest, chest, shoulders, legs, all that sort of stuff again. So we'll just repeat ourselves and do something completely different on each uh, each vlog that we, we choose to do leading into our prep or our comp day. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching.